<laughs> That's pretty dope. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got some good news. The boys over at Studio 397 have just released their first ever DLC and season pass. Now, the DLC actually comes with two hyper cars, two new hyper cars and a new track, Emola. As you can see here, the Peugeot 2024 edition is one of the available cars. Also, we have the second hypercar, which is the Lamborghini Iron Lynx 2024 edition. Now, what I want to do at this point is take uh, both of the new DLC cars around Emola. Uh, I'm not particularly like really good with these hypercars, but yeah, we're just going to showcase them just to get a quick look at them and have some fun. Let's check them out. All right, here we go. All right, this is the Lamborghini. We're going to start off with the Lamborghini first. Now, one particular thing that's very interesting about hypercars is when you start them. I'm started. And you'll hear the engine kick in. Let me turn that up a little bit. You know what? We're going to go back to the pits. Back to our box, our garage, and try that again. I want to hear that a little louder. <laughs> That's pretty dope. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 15 Celsius. Now, like I said, I'm not quick with these cars. First and foremost, when you come out, it's there are no tire blankets on these cars. So it's like you're driving on ice. Like literally. Track's clear. Push, push, See push. Floor? See how the back end comes out? Are low. We need to get some heat into them. I gotta turn it down a little bit now. We let this guy around. It's like you're driving on ice. You, I really don't understand how the AI is going that fast right now. Now, I'm not trying to fly around here. I wish I could take a look at the side of the car. For some reason, like R Factor 2 and Le Mans Ultimate, you can't look at your uh, the peripheral of the car. You can't look at the side. I really would like to look at it. Let's get a look at a Mola. Uh oh. I still have no traction at all. Look, see? That's crazy. Now, for what I'm seeing, you're seeing it as well. A good render of a Mola. If you do not have Lamont Ultimate, I highly recommend this title. I really do. Force feedback and everything is great. You know, I, you know, when we watch these videos, that's what we really want to hear. We want to hear how good the game is or how bad the game is. This is top notch for a game that's still in development. Let's see if we can warm the tires up a little bit. Track limits, this light will be deleted. Woo. It's 
Still slick. Yeah. See, these tires are so slick, and they take quite a bit of time to warm the tires up. As you can see over here, my tires are still cold. They're still blue. New fastest lap for Greedy on 13.6. Now the the brakes are fine. Look, so you can hear the tires just sliding. It takes so long. Like I said, I'm not great with these. I do like to race them every once in a while. Greedy, 129.7. And the tires are still cold. We've got cold tires. We need to get some heat into them. The brake I just said that, Jim. Now I have a Fanatec DD Pro wheel. Man, like I said before, if you don't have this, I can say for sure with the Fanatec DD Pro. I think I just saw the, the right front tire try to turn green. Yeah. Try it. Sector one is two point two seconds not. off the pace. See, I'm really slow compared to the AI. Really slow. Fastest lap for Greedy, one twenty nine point two. Just can't trust it yet. Wow. Sector two is 3.3 off the pace. I just don't get the hypercar right now. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm trying to figure out why the tires won't heat. Here come the other guys. Whoosh. The guy in front has just done at 131.7 or sixth place. Your brake temperatures are pretty high. Look, trying to stay up with the AI. Okay, so that did it right there. We're going to try out the Perzo. I wish we could take a look at it from the side. This is it from the front. You get a, a 
I guess that's the closest view we can have. Incident in sector oh, one. On sector here. one is yellow. Flashers. Wipers. We have a rain light. Nothing at this moment. All right, let's try out the Perjo now. Okay, here we go. Let's start up the Perjo. See if we can see it in the garage. Yep. We got the one with the green lights. Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty dope. All right, let's start it up. Now this one you can hear when you start. The track temperature is falling. It's now 15 Celsius. Now once again, we're on ice skates. Why can't I see the side of the car? I really want to. I'll make sure I have the replay of it in the upper corner though. Look how slow. Once again, no tire blankets. I can't wait for the GT3 cars. Oh, wow. I barely accelerated. Skates. You know, I really want to see how the Peugeot's lights look at night. I'm not trying to break records. I'm just trying to fill out the car. Also, it seems like with the hypercars, there's not like a lot of uh, tough force feedback. There's, like the gain is really low on hypercars. GTE, GT3, GT4, it's a little stronger. You feel more resistance in the wheel. Hypercars just feel like, to me, super light. I have to say, Amola looks nice. Now don't judge me. Once again, like I said, I'm not quick with this, with the, uh, uh, what do you call them? Hypercars. These are my last choice to race with. And it's not that I don't like them. It's I think the only thing that deters me from wanting to race these cars are the tires. It's just the tires. All right, let's take a look at the Peugeot and Lambo at night. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Auto lights. Yeah. You will not look this good. 
Okay. Oh. I meant to be on the track by myself. I guess I did not do that. That's fine. I'm going to move out of the way because I'm really slow. <laughs> the pit exit's clear. Wow. Wow. The brakes are cold. Be careful. Oh, too fast. Okay, the AI has some, uh, a serious advantage coming out of the pits. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 15 Celsius. Let's take a look at it. Oops. Yellow flag, caution. Wow. Come through the mine ultimate. Sector two is clear. I know I can catch that GTE car. Soon as my tires warm up. I'm really slow with these cars. <laughs> I was scared to go wider. When do these tires heat up? It might have something to do. Okay, wait, I got to check the temperature. Check the road temperature. These cars have a lot. They they have a it's trying to drive these is a lot to do with the downforce. But I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared of the car, so. Wow. The game looks good. Okay, we're not trying to race or anything. Now we're gonna look at the land again. Your rear brakes are getting pretty hot. Yellow flag in sector one. Shut up, Jim. All right, here we are in the Lambo. El Quiet. That's amazing. Okay, I think I have the lights on auto. Yeah. As soon as we start rolling out, it is so quiet. It is clear. Push now. We've got cold brakes all round. Whatever. Oh my god. 
Okay. Take it slow. Take it slow, Gray. If look, if you don't understand, you don't understand. Like some of y'all understand. This it's like on ice. I'm there's no traction. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 15 Celsius. If you floor it, you're sideways. Yellow flag in sector one. Okay, we got a little heat in there. To get around the corners, you literally have to raise up off the accelerator and you can barely trail brake. If you try to trail brake, the tires aren't going to stick for some reason. You have to glide through there without accelerator or brake. The lighting here is nice. Look at those lights in the rear view. That's definitely too fast. Okay, let's take a look at the outside of the car here. Once again. A tiny bit of aero damage, just ignore it. One thing. Oh, wow. That's... Sector three is yellow. I mean, you're going to see what the future holds, what types of tracks they're coming out with by the end of the year. But once again, the most important thing for me is I, I want to see the GT three cars. I'm going to have to get some more practice with these uh, hyper cars. Definitely. Definitely. Gonna have to. Okay, great. We need to watch these track limits. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting I think I've been bitten by the bug. I wanna race these more often. And just figure them out. But if you're looking to purchase this once again, the DLC is twelve dollars. And the season pass total is forty dollars so if you're looking to get the biggest bang for the buck i would buy the season pass so like i said if you like what you what you get i like it so far i like lamont i have no more complaints about lamont i had complaints in the past that they they fixed as far as like server connection issues and stuff like that they fixed a lot of that um so i would go for the season pass Myself, you're gonna save yourself some money there. That's the for Conway, what? Let's see if we can get into some races a little later. But for this vid, that's it. Thanks for joining. Great beard out. Oh, I didn't take that. I ain't going nowhere. Did I? <laughs> I thought I was about to skirt out and just went off the road again.